Most verbs in English have five different forms. That means that the verb changes according to the rest of the sentence. For example, a common verb like to eat can be eat, ate, eaten, eats, or eating, depending on the sentence. Most verbs, regular or irregular, have five forms, like the verb to eat. Of all the verbs in English, the verb to be has the most forms. While most have five, to be actually has eight. Be, is, am, are, was, were, been, and being. For example, I'll be back. Maria is in New York. I am 23 years old. Where are we? I was in the cafeteria. Those were the days. I've been to Turkey. Stop being so annoying. To learn more about the forms is, am, and are, watch our video on the verb to be in the present simple. The rest of this video covers other forms of to be. So what about the other forms? Be is the infinitive form, used with or without to. For example, this could be dangerous, or I don't want to be famous. We use two forms of the verb to be to talk about completed actions in the past, was and were. These are the past simple or verb to forms of to be. So for the past simple tense, when the subject is I, a he, a she, or an it, to be becomes was. It was fantastic. If the subject is you, a we, or a they, then to be becomes were. They were at the mall. We use the form been with have or had in perfect tenses. For example, I've been to Turkey or I hadn't been so happy in my whole life. Finally, being is the present participle form. For example, you're being a bit of a drama queen. Or, he was being polite when he was asking for a refund. So, to summarize, the verb to be has eight different forms. Be is the infinitive, with or without to. We use is, am, or are for the present simple tense. Was or were are used for the past simple. Been is used in perfect tenses. And being is the present participle form. For more information about the infinitive form, past simple, perfect tenses, or the present participle, visit nextgenenglish.com. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.